Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'll show you five ways you can access your edit tools in Logic Pro. Now, if you've used Logic for any amount of time, you probably already know that this left tool up here is your left click tool, and the tool on the right is your command click tool. So right now I have the pointer tool selected along with the scissors tool. So if I hold command, this switches over to the scissors tool and I can cut up my audio this way. Now that's not one of the ways to access the tools. That's just the most basic way. I'm gonna show you five additional ways to access the tools that might help speed up your workflow a bit. The first way is to press T and this will bring up a pop-up dialogue in the tracks area where you can select different tools. So maybe I wanna switch over to the scissors tool, do some cutting, then press T and then jump back to the pointer tool. But another cool function here is there are shortcuts for each of these tools. So if I wanted to quickly switch from the pointer tool to the scissors tool, I could just press T to open the dialogue and then press I to select the scissors tool. Then I can press T and T again to switch back to the pointer tool. I'll press T and then R and now I have the marquee tool and then T, T again to go back to the pointer tool. Now for the secondary tool, you can press T, then hold command and select the tool that you want as your secondary tool. So while holding command, I'll select the marquee tool. And now the marquee tool is my secondary tool. So if I hold command, this switches over to marquee. I let go of command, goes back to the pointer tool. So that's one way most of you probably are already familiar with that method, but I figured I'd get that out of the way. Next, I'll show you a method that allows you to use three tools at once. To do this, go up to Logic Pro Preferences General, and then from here, go to the Editing tab. About midway down, there's an option here that says Right Mouse Button, and then you can choose different options. One of those options is assignable to a tool. So when you select this, you now have three options up here for your tools. I have my regular left click, which is the pointer tool. I have my command click tool, which is marquee, and then right click is my scissors tool. So I can use my right mouse button as the scissors tool. Now, a lot of people don't like this method, including me, because it gets rid of the right click shortcut menu. However, there's a very easy workaround. If you just hold control and click, this will bring up that shortcut menu again. And this works on top of regions as well. And there are other options in here other than assignable to a tool, but that's another way to do it. A third method can also be accessed from this exact same window. There's an option here that says pointer tool in tracks provides fade tool click zones and marquee tool click zones. Now there's also an option for quick swipe comping. I'm not gonna turn that on for this because that's a completely different editing function. But what this does is it creates different click zones, kind of like using the smart tool in Pro Tools if you've ever used that before. So let me demonstrate this. So with these two click zones enabled, if you hover your mouse over the top part of a region, you get your normal pointer tool. So I can drag this around and move the region around. But if I hover over the bottom part of the region, this turns the pointer tool into the marquee tool. So you can use this as a selection tool for deleting sections or whatever you wanna use the marquee tool for. So this sort of bundles the pointer tool and the marquee tool in a single function. So if you're like me and the marquee tool is usually your secondary edit tool, you might choose to use a third edit tool like the scissors tool. So now I can use the pointer tool on the top, marquee on the bottom, and then hold command to access the scissors tool. What this also does is it creates a click zone for creating fades. Now normally to create a fade with the pointer tool, you can hold shift and control and drag over the end of a region to create a fade. But using the click zones method, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the top boundary of the region and you can add fades very quickly and very easily using this method. And if you want to trim, you can still do that. You just hover your mouse over the bottom part of the boundary and you can still use the trim tool. Another method that I don't like so much, but it's there if you want to use it, is you can hold option and then you can press page up or page down on your keyboard to cycle through each of the primary edit tools. So I can start on the pointer tool, move down a few to get to the scissors tool, move down a few more to get down to the marquee tool. So as long as you have the page up or page down keys on your keyboard, which I believe most of the MacBooks do, 
you can use this method if you like. However, as far as I know, there's no way to cycle through the secondary tools this way. If there is a way, let me know in the comments below. Now my fifth and final method involves creating some custom shortcuts. So I'm gonna go up to Logic Pro, Key Commands, and then go to Edit, and this will bring up the Key Commands dialog. And I'm gonna search up Tool, and you'll find various key commands for setting the different tools. Now over here, you'll see some shortcuts, but these are actually touch bar shortcuts. Now most of these tools, I don't use enough to actually set a custom key command for them, but the main ones I tend to use are the pointer tool, the scissors tool, and the marquee tool. So a method I've used in the past is to create a custom shortcut for these three. Although you can set up custom key commands for any of these, including tools that are in other editors like the piano roll editor. So to do this, I'll just select set pointer tool. I'll select learn by key label, and then I'll press option one for the pointer tool. I'll select the scissors tool and press option three. And for the marquee tool, I'll press option two. And I'm just following the touch bar shortcuts here, which are option one, two, and three. I do have a I do have a touch bar MacBook, but honestly, I never use it, which is why I've never demonstrated it on the channel. So now if I press option one, I get the pointer tool. Option two, I get the marquee tool. And option three, I get the scissors tool. And I can very quickly cycle between these three tools. Unfortunately, there is no option in here to set the command click tools. I would actually much rather use the secondary tools this way and be able to cycle between my most favorite secondary tools. But it is what it is. It's still a pretty helpful way to do this. And I tend to use the number pad because I have a number pad on my keyboard. However, you can use the standard number row for this as well. So those are five alternate ways to access your edit tools in Logic Pro. I'm not saying that any of these methods are better than the other. It all depends on your workflow and the type of work that you do. So try these out in your spare time, and if one of them works really well for you, try incorporating it into your workflow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you for the support, and thanks for watching.